Hi, welcome to EST Online. Today, we're looking at a very simple skill, how to give a statistic in a presentation introduction effectively. So many textbooks on presentation skills give you the, the idea, oh, you should use a statistic when you introduce your presentation. Sounds easy, right? One million people live in Shinjuku. But giving a statistic by itself doesn't really have any positive impact on your presentation. How you deliver that statistic is the difference between success and failure. So I wish these textbooks would share a little bit more about how to deliver a statistic. And that's what we do at EST. We train presenters how to give great presentations. All right, so let's look at simple ways to give a statistic. Number one, talk about the statistic in a way that helps the audience understand its scale. One million people. Have you ever seen one million people? I've never seen one million people with my own eyes. I can't even imagine what it looks like. So instead, when you give a large number or a very small number, try to give a comparison of scale. For example, we know that Tokyo Dome has a capacity of around 50,000 people. 50,000 people. So 1 million people is 20 Tokyo Domes. So when you introduce your presentation, today I'd like to talk about our blah blah blah, 1 million people, that's 20 Tokyo Domes. Using that statistic twice helps you and helps the audience better understand the scale. The second technique you can use is time. So let's imagine we're talking about how many people buy our product every day. So one million people, excuse me, how many people buy our product every year? One million people buy our product every year. Again, I don't know what one million people looks like. So one million people every year, that's, mm, that's about 3,000 people per day, right? So 3,000 people is a little bit more relevant. So 3,000 per day, what's that? About 100, 130 per hour, something like that. Okay, let's go down a little bit more. That's about two per minute. So I know the math isn't perfect, perfect but you can start to see now how we can make a big number more relevant. So again, watch this introduction. One million people buy our product every year. That's two for every minute, every single day. Two per minute is much easier to understand than one million per year. So use these time-relevant statistics and break it down to help your audience understand the scale. All right, let's have a look at the third technique. The third technique is relevancy. Relevancy means how relevant is it to the audience? I often use this with percentages. Maybe I want to talk about how 10% of Japanese people are customers of our company or brand, 10%. Maybe my audience has 50 people in the room. So 10% of that means that five of the audience, five members of the audience, are probably our customers. So use the audience as part of your presentation. 10% of people in Japan shop at our business every single year. That means in this room, five of you might be our customers. Thank you very much. Now the audience are looking around thinking, oh, okay, is it me? No, it's not me. Oh, which five people is it? So you're inviting and including your audience in the process. You're making it relevant to them. So the three techniques, scale, time, and relevancy with the audience, these are the ways that you can introduce a statistic to your audience in an effective, powerful way. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye.